Hi everyone, so today I'm super excited to share this new set that LGS Creative has brought to HSN for the October Craft Day. Um, it is called Christmas Concertina Cards. Super adorable. There is a lot going on with this cutie, so we're going to jump right in. Of course, I'll do a whole unboxing, show you what's all in here, um, and then we'll do a little tutorial. But um, they did send these items free of charge for my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. And you might have seen that they do have some items called, um, under the collection name, or the, I guess, um, name, yeah, Squirrel and Vine, so maybe some of their, like, masks, and I think some of their storage items and things like that, so that is LDRS Creative, though, so... Um, we're get right into it. The Christmas Village. Hopefully you can see kind of what's going on here. So we're going to close it up, but when you open it up, you have these different layers. And I mean, you can even see inside like the little uh, apertures there. Super cute. And then Santa's Workshop. Um, you can watch a video of theirs. I can leave that there for you guys to scan if you would like to. Just check it out. And, oh, there's a bigger QR code here. So there you go. Hopefully that works. Um, okay, so... Again, I've shown you kind of how to go ahead and put these together. Now, for me, LDS Creative is super inventive. They have a lot of really fun ways of making something that's complicated very easy. Um, so we're going to go through this and, um, you know, put one of our cards together. Hopefully you'll see more, obviously, of how to do that. But they're just showing you a quick overhead construction. You have your back panel. You have a room insert. You have a tree insert. You have a room insert on the front, like towards the front of the card, and then the front panel. Okay, so you have these panels, and of course you decorate them up. It's telling you there how to glue them together. So you're going to have a very complicated looking card that is put together just in these, you know, several panels. So let's see here. We have um, our envelopes, and you know, I don't know if it says on here how many of each item there are. So let me count these real quick: two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten envelopes. So I'm assuming you're going to make ten cards and probably five of each. Ooh, they have little binder clips on here. Something you can reuse. I like the hat. So let's check these guys out. Let me open these up from the packaging Super and I'll sturdy, back. really nice. We have all our characters and everything else that you're going to deck out your cards with, so we'll check that out in just a second, but let's open this up. Oh my goodness, I love that. Oh, and this is just a protective, really nice and reusable um, <laughs> uh, kind of card stock. Um, really nice and thick. So this is the um, little village one. Let's see. Just look at this again right quick so you can see that. We have that guy here, right? And then on the back, or they're just showing you that how to put that guy together, but it's basically the same thing. So we have the village and then the workshop. So let's see the different panels. And I mean, these are just really nice. I would say the weight is like maybe 80 pound cardstockish. You know, it has some flexibility. Of course, you're gonna have several layers, so you you know you don't want it too too thick, but nice and sturdy um, at the same time. Look at that. <gasps> Okay, so we have this guy, and of course we'll go through the instruction. I just kind of want to show you real quickly each of these things here. So it looks really nice on the back and the front. And then look at how sweet. I love the colors on this. Very um, traditional, and they're not like super bright. They're more like muted, but very jewel-like. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> The back side of that one. Look how cute they look already, just like it right here. And look at the little house, like, oh my gosh, the room insert. Love, everything's gone here. They have little stairs, little upstairs. <laughs> little kid in his little bed there, super cute. And again, that is the, um, I think that's the village one. Excuse me. So this should be the um, Santa's workshop scene. Oh my goodness. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be very much like what we just saw, but with the different scenery, right? So it's the same um, room insert, you know, front panel, the base card and all that kind of stuff. So let's check this out. I believe this is probably the base. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. Look at the little elf and the little reindeer and his little head sticking out there. Super cute. Oh my goodness. Just adorable, and again, they are double-sided, so the back, or, or the front, I guess this would be the front, because you're going to attach those things there. Um, so this would be the side that's facing that way. Um, we have, like, a little clothesline with the candy canes. Very Santa's workshop there. Look at the little uh, reindeer and the cute, like, tree line back there. Let's get this guy. Again, the little um, tree kind of inserts. 
Very similar from before, double-sided. Super cute. Oh my goodness. And then we have here the uh, room insert. This is the front, and then we have um, some different pieces, but we'll check this guy out. It looks how cute. And there you can see like the little elves working. <laughs> Just adorable, the little beds back there, some of them taking a little nap. Oh my goodness, and then, or maybe they're working through the night and these guys are resting, I don't know. But we have the little tree line in the back and on the back side, um, just the tree line that's gonna be poking up there. And then we have the um, front panel. Okay, and then another room insert, there we go. Super cute, so this is in the very front of the card. We have like your little toy soldiers and then like a whole silo full of gifts back there. Really cute. I love the colors on this. And then kind of what peeks from the back of your card. You would have a little bit of that background there. And then here we have a little um, <laughs> imagery. So we have our little reindeer with little Christmas tree in there. And it has flocking on it. This looks a little bit stably, but maybe it's inside. I don't know how cute is that. And then over here we have um, Santa taking a little nap, it looks like. His little hat's like hung up. And then Mrs. Claus doing some stuff back there. We have the little um, elf hanging out there, and then the back side of that is just blank. Okay guys, yeah, so just super duper cute. I'm gonna put these guys back in here. And, oh, let's look at the, um, uh, these guys before we move on the little uh, characters. So if you can see, let's see, it might be here. Um, you have all the different, you know, parts of your Constantina and everything, or your accordion, but you can decorate with like the little characters, and there are characters that are more, you know, Santa's workshop, and then like kind of everyday village kind of little buddies in there. And let me see if you can see it better over here, maybe. Oh, I don't see it on here, but okay. <laughs> Let's just look at these guys, and then we'll see how we can decorate. Oh my goodness, so many pieces. I mean, there's just a lot going on here. Uh, let's see here. We have like, again, like the village people. <laughs> the village people. We have like the little girl, look at it. It looks like she's like on a little sled, so I'm sure there's a little sled in here somewhere. Uh, this little guy has his like um, skiing, and we have a little gal or a little child here throwing a, a snowball. Look at the little tiny birds. Oh my goodness. Actually, I should start, start putting some of these things down. Oh, here's the sled now. Or oh, this guy's pulling a sled. Actually, I guess you could have her sitting on there. She's facing the other way. We have the little Santa stop here. Oh my goodness. So again, it makes it like this little squirrel here. We have um, garlands like this kind that have like the little um, uh, holly and berries and things. And we have Oh, these guys over here, like little strings of lights. Um, look at this little elf carrying tons of gifts. So again, it's, you know, Santa, but also the everyday kind of scene. Everyday wintry scene. So cute. Oh my goodness. Um, little cardinal. This little elf here pulling like a bag of gifts. Just tons. The little girl walking kind of in the snow there. Look at the little puppy. Oh my gosh. All these characters, we have the gifts, we have reindeer, tons of reindeer, tons of gifts. Um, Santa's in here somewhere, I know. We saw him in the thing, lots of uh, snowmen, just all kinds of cute ways. And I'm sure, you know, in the instruction it shows you, you know, you can decorate afterward if, um, when it's all put together, but if you, uh, had one going and you can kind of see where the characters should be. You can probably put them on uh, before you really even uh, start putting everything together. Um, and the subsequent subsequent ones, right? So you can just put them on the layers and then put it all together if you like. But I think you're probably gonna want to wait till afterward because um, you're gonna be doing a lot of folding and checking to see that you know everything is where you need it to be. So let's. I'm gonna put these things up and we will uh, get ready to put one together. I'm going to follow the instructions to a T and I'm going to do it slowly so that we're all on the same page. So, um, you know, we'll just start with uh, this this stack that I have in front of me here. So I'm going to just put this stack away. I'm going to put my little binder clippy back on here. And whoop, there we go. 
put these guys up and basically I'm gonna grab one of each let's see here um, the concentrated card has five panels. It is important that you attach the correct panels to the scenes so the scenes align correctly in the windows. We recommend you use extra strong double-sided tape or strong wet glue. Of course I'm using glue because unless you rip it, you know, you're good. Um, it's not going to come apart, you know, later is what I'm trying to say. Uh, to attach the inner panels, uh, again, they have a video. They do have videos on their own uh, YouTube channel also. I'm assuming that's probably where that goes. And uh, important, please ensure the center crease fold of every panel is aligned and match the previous one or your card may not fold down correctly to fit inside the envelope. So we will make sure to do that. Um, yeah, so we need a 1R, a 4R, a 2F, and a 1F, and then the little tree line. So let me just make sure. I'm going to grab those things. So here is a 4R, which is a room insert. Okay, I'm just grabbing that one. This one is 2F, and we need that. That's another room insert. How cute is that? Okay, and I'll just bring this back here. And then we need one of these guys, I'm sure. So this is 1R. Um, oh, interesting. So 1R, 1F front panel. Okay, so I'm going to grab that because what I think is, let's see. Then we need our tree line. And we need um, this base, right? Of course. Um, back panel. Um, I mean, this is basically the back panel, just with the big guy. Okay, <laughs> so that's what you need. And some of them do have different, like I said, that one said 1F or whatever. It's because on some of it's telling you where to glue things. So I'm just grabbing literally just one of each, one of each of these items. And then we will go from there. So let me put these guys up and I'll be right back. So to start, we're going to take that big guy, right? Our um, background piece. And I'm going to have this facing out because it has like the houses. And this can be the inside portion or, you know, you can build this however you would like. But that's kind of what it looks like to me. So what I'm going to do is just fold this in the opposite direction. Right now it's folded like this. I'm going to fold it this way. Because you want attach 1F, attach 1F facing you. And that's basically how this card is going to fold. You have lots of different score lines here. Um, so let's go ahead and fold them right now. And I assume this one goes backward like this. And then there's another one here. That maybe we'll fold it forward. Maybe we'll fold it backward. You know, I'm just folding them on the score lines because at this point I'm not sure if it has to come forward or back. Um, and then this guy also maybe backward or forward but I'm just giving it a crease for now okay so we're gonna leave that sitting here for now I need the front panel which is 1F and they tell you right here on the sides 1F this is our front panel and they're basically going to fold away from each other so in the score line I'm scoring it towards me where this one I scored away from myself and then these guys you're also going to go ahead and score them away from you and it does say that there on step one. They're pretty much addressing this panel and then telling you to adhere it to this panel, okay? So let me clear up a little space so we can see what we're doing. Basically, we're going to glue this glue tab to the edge of that right there. And you see the houses, um, you know, kind of line up at this point. Something like that, okay? So, and then on this side, this panel will glue to where it says attach right there, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> You're just putting the glue here, and you know I like to get it right on the edge. And it is telling you when you align these to go ahead and make sure that they are lined up at the very bottom, right? That's where you really want to put your your effort into there. And you know me, I'm always like right on the edge here whenever I do anything like this. Precision is key. That looks pretty good and flat down here. Okay. You could, I guess, fold that back if it's easier for you. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of a score, but not too much, because um, you're going to have different layers, and I'm probably going to end up scoring them whenever I glue them down, just so that we know that this is going to fold up nicely and all that. So for right now, I'm just giving it a little bit of a score. But let's put some glue on this other side all the way up. And again, you're attaching that glue tab to this panel where it just says attach. All right. 
open, keeping it straight there. Okay, let me go ahead and fold that back. Just so I can see what I'm doing. Give that a minute and I'll be right so back. I'm not giving it too much of a squish, but just kind of something like that. And so now what we're doing is you're going to kind of fold it up. I'm pushing it together. Hopefully you can kind of see what we're looking at. And just making sure it'll close up, you know, however you end up making it close up. If you want to do it this way or another way, but for now I'm just kind of lining that up. Maybe give it a pretty good score at this point. Maybe that tree there. Okay. So we can open this back up. And it's something like this, okay? I should have turned that little tree line. There we go. Okay. So again, this is the front piece we just added. We have our big back round piece there. And then we're going to start adding on some of the other pieces. So let's turn this guy over. And we are going to work with 2F. And that's this one. Room insert for the front. And then you have room insert for the back. And then this guy just kind of sits in here when we get to that point. So we're not doing that yet. But for this one, we are also going to fold the tabs of room insert front towards you. So remember the last time we folded them back. This time we're folding these towards us. Add glue the side tabs and attach to inside of the panel, making sure you don't have excess glue on the edges. That's fine, but I also want to fold, I believe, this one probably forward, right? Right down the center. And I am putting the room facing forward. I mean, there's other cuteness on this, but this is going to be facing back. So the room contents, you know, are going to face forward. And then this guy, again, I'm not sure if it needs to come forward or back, but I'm just going to fold it right now. Just give it a little training. So I can fold either way when I get there because I'm not sure at the moment. Okay, but these glue tabs are definitely going to the front and you're going to pop this in here and you're going to glue it to the inside. So we have glue here on that glue tab facing forward here. Okay, so just like in here. So now you can see the little rooms through there. Okay, and I'm just going to fold that again. Again, that might fold backwards, I'm not sure right now. So either way, it just makes it easier if it's tucked away from me right now. And you can also reference your picture here. It is showing this is coming forward. This is also forward. But for now, let's put some glue on this tab. So you're putting on the, on the back of the tab, right? Not in the words here. And we're gonna slide this in here. And you're just gonna glue it to the front piece. And again, I just make sure that it's lined up down at the base here. And I'm just going to hold that down. Just touching the front of my card here. Okay, so I think that's set up pretty good. So on this side, we're also going to put glue on that tab. And I'm just going to kind of get in here. I know it might be difficult to see, but I'm just going to put glue in there. And just attach it again to that front panel. And since the other side's already on, it's easy to just kind of go like this. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a second, then we're gonna fold it and make sure everything is gonna fold nicely, and then we'll move on to putting in the um, back room insert. So I'm gonna bring this back forward again and see how it kind of bends here. It's gonna want to bend more, so let's just bring this guy forward like that. And this is what I mean. Well, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze it down the center <laughs> and then either side and just close it up. So if you're gonna close it this way or this way or however you think you're gonna send it, you know, just do that. Just so you know, everything's kind of lined up nicely for you. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of a, of a score just to flatten it out a little better. So you can see there's some little something going on there. There we go, okay. And then I'm going to open it back up again. And then that's our front. And you can see the little insert in here. It's just a little bit removed. It's not like right stuck to it, but you have a little room there. So it looks like some dimension there, right? And depending on how far you pull it open, you'll have more dimension. Okay. So next thing, step three, looks like we're going to go ahead and put in the um, other panel. So it says turn card to reverse. So we're going to turn it this way. This is the side that's facing me now over here. 
and we're going to take this guy and again same as before you're going to turn the card reverse add glue tabs on the room insert which is 4R okay and to the back panel but ensure the glue flaps face you and the center panels and bases are aligned so the images here I just want to show you are really nice and clear about that so they're showing you to you know go ahead and make it come towards you again that center one is going to go like this but for right now I kind of tucked it back it was easier for me to work with that way so oopsie there we go come towards you towards you and again we're just going to glue these guys um, towards that back panel right do, do, do. let's see here Yeah, I'm just going to pop this guy in here and put it right into that little crux right there. Again, nice and flat, and that's kind of why I have it standing up so I can really see where I'm putting this. And I'm just going to massage that for a little bit so the glue tab is touching the back panel. Okay, and I'm going to wait just a little bit and then I'll go ahead and put glue on this one and have it attached over here, right? And I'll be right back. Go ahead and attach this guy. And again, let me kind of bring it out a little bit. I just gotta put my hand in here, get that glue on there, and it should go right against the back panel here. And still making sure everything's nice and flat, and it looks pretty straight down here, nice and flush. And I'm just gonna give that a second. To firm up just a little bit before I crease it again, you know, close it up and crease it, and then um, that's it. I'll be right back. So, remember this one? I just kind of popped it back. I'm just going to bring it back down the center, forward. If you really look at it, it's kind of like an M shape, this piece. It goes up, down, like this. But I just kind of tucked it out of my way. That's why I tucked it back like that. So, again, this one's already tucked forward. This one's tucked this way. And we're going to squish this. Right, squish it down the middle again. And again, just making sure that it's folded up nicely. Whichever way you're gonna fold this to send it, you know, do that, um, whatever you want. But again, we squish it right down the middle there. And so let's see, should we go like this? We can go like that. I think I've been doing something different every time. <laughs> but you just wanna make sure everything's gonna fold and be kind of copacetic here and lay down, right? That's what we're looking for. Okay, open it back up. And we have our tree line. So front, back. The trees are just gonna come in here and just kind of tuck in there. So it looks like, you know, either way that you want the trees, they're basically a little bit of different decoration, but it's, it doesn't matter which way faces forward or back. Um, so with these guys, we are gonna fold them up a little bit. I just kind of folded them like a concertina. And that's kind of what the image is showing you here, where it's forward, back, forward, right, back. And this guy, all you're going to do is just let it hang there. You're not gluing it in. It's just going to hang on to a portion of it. Let's see. Take the remaining tree insert and hang or interlock over one of the room scenes so it sits in the center of the card. Again, ensure the center folds match. Do not glue. It will remain free-flowing or free-moving. And then, finally, decorate with die-cut ephemera as you wish. Add glitter and decorate. Okay. So you can stick it to the front panel, this back panel. Since it's already facing this way, I'm just going to... All you do... You have this panel, or this one, right? I'm talking about the room panel, sorry, when I said front panel. We have this guy, we have this guy. And just attach it to one of them. So, you know, just on this side and then the little bit on the other side, so it just kind of falls in, right? So as you can see, it's free moving, free floating. I'm gonna close that up again. And again, you can eyeball how is it that you're gonna close it when you send it, and just kind of give it a squish according to that. Oh, I guess my bone folder went somewhere. <laughs> Put it somewhere else. So this goes into your envelope. Right? It is a 5 by 7 envelope. And this guy measures... Let's see, sorry. I used the wrong side of this thing. 4 and 3 quarters, I would say, by... Uh, 7 and a quarter, just over 7 and a quarter in the height. And so then when you can open it up. And you have your cute little card, your little tree line. Cute. And we're just going to decorate it. So you have all of that going on. Look at that guy. 
and in the back you have the little everything really really cute uh, I think I'm gonna rearrange this piece though sorry guys I'm gonna put it somewhere else so I'm gonna put it on this side <laughs> right quick because I just feel like it should go there better okay because I can see the little white sticks through this window I saw the little white sticks hanging there so I put it on the front room panel okay I think that just works better for my purposes right now all right so let's grab some characters and fill this guy out. So, um, I mean, there's just lots going on. So, of course, you don't really want to cross over where you have fold lines. Like, this is a nice panel. It doesn't fold, right? It doesn't have, like, a bend mark in it. Um, but if it does, then just go to that portion. Like, let me see if I can find another one. Like, back here. This score has a score line, and it's going to bend there. So if you're going to put something on there, make it... So it goes here, but maybe it doesn't cross over that score line, right? So, I mean, there's going to be lots to do. Let's see. Um, This is really cute. I mean, we can just stick this from wherever, but I'll save that from, for something else. Let me just grab some pieces. I mean, we have this little guy. Do you want to put a little bit of dimensional? I wouldn't go too much because this thing's pretty dimensional already, right? So um, I would use maybe a low-profile dimensional. That'd be really cute. But we're just going to start adding tons of stuff so that's what I'm gonna do I'll have some music over it because I'm sure you know I'm gonna make choices and all that fun stuff and we're just gonna add in our little characters here and there and you know within the windows if you have some other little people here you know however you want to do it and I'll be back gifts all those kind of things I pretty much decorate the outside so that the windows are just you know you see in there and they're pretty decked out already but if you want to add some more things and then for this one I stuck to the like kind of the village stuff the wintry items um, there are Santa Clauses and um, elves and gifts and all kinds of things that would I think would go better with the Santa's workshop things so for today I had grabbed basically what made the uh, Christmas village so there's that and then hopefully you can kind of see how cute. Oh, you know what? Maybe we need to put a snowman up in the tree line here, up here somewhere. That'd be really fun. See how they just kind of decorate it all over. Um, and so, this is the front of my card, and that's why I kind of just put the little string of lights. Just fun. Santa stop here, a little snowman, little guy there. And when you open it up, it opens up to this scene. This little guy's walking with his tree. I did put a little cat inside of there. And as you keep opening it, I mean... It's just gonna start opening up. So from here I had put like the little almost more of a decoration Like when you go to the mall and they have something like that with like the toys in it This person is shopping. We have a kid uh, Shopping with dad for a tree there it looks like and then obviously you see there are trees in there and everything 
in the windows and then these little guys back here. Again, you want to put like a little snowman up here, just glue them like in this area or maybe one of the kids sliding down because that's kind of like the village behind the house, right? Not the top of the house. Um, really, really cute. And then on this side, when I turn it around, I just did a little more of the little animals here and then the kids kind of playing, maybe building a snowman. This one's throwing a snowball here. I did a couple little decorations here and there more of the little animals here and then again this is the front of the card basically so we close it up like this and like that and there it is really um a lot going on in that guy so much you can do i mean there are just hundreds of pieces of ephemera to continue decorating them with uh really really cute you know maybe i'll put santa claus standing up on the hill up there and they don't see him there huh that'd be really cute all right guys thanks for watching thank you so much lgs creative for sending these items for review i hope um you know the what i was showing you was really straightforward check out the videos that are on the um QR code that I showed you at the beginning. If you don't have a QR code reader, or like your phone, maybe it's not upgraded for that yet, or maybe you don't have a phone that reads them, definitely just go to um, LGS Creative's YouTube channel and they will have tutorials. I believe they're already up for you if you would like to check those out. Really, really sweet. Just a lot going on on this one. Wow. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, look at the beautiful meal in there. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, uh, I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.